Part of the so-called first 100-hour push by Democrats was an ethics reform bill, and in that bill is a requirement that lawmakers' names be attached to requests for pet projects called earmarks. The bill has had a long and strange journey through the Capitol, including a rescue by a most unlikely source. Congressional correspondent Major Garrett explains. Sometimes the real leadership is not in leadership. It's from individual members who get the right idea. South Carolina Republican Jim DeMint, a little-known figure in national politics, knows what he's talking about. He's responsible for inflicting the first major defeat of this new Congress on Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. The issue? Earmarks. Designated federal spending lawmakers anonymously stuff into spending bills. In 2005, Congress approved 15,623 earmarks at a cost of more than $27 billion. The number and cost have fallen slightly since, but earmarks remain hidden. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Reid pledged to bring earmarks out of the shadows. Pelosi followed through, overseeing changes in House rules to publicly disclose all future earmark requests. But Reid refused, preferring to keep most earmarks hidden. So DeMint challenged Reid, his weapon, Speaker Pelosi's earmark language. The Senate bill just covered about 5% of total earmarks. The House bill covered all of them. So if we're going to disclose what we do, let's make it for all the earmarks. DeMint expected to lose, but won when 51 senators, including nine Democrats, stood with him and defied Reid. Among the Democrats to do so, Barack Obama, John Kerry, Russ Feingold, and newcomers John Tester and James Webb. They didn't vote with they, their leadership. I think they voted with the American people. Stunned by his defeat, Reid leveled this uncharacteristic insult at Pelosi and all House Democrats. The distinguished senator from South Carolina um, has said, Mr. President, that um, this is exactly like the House. I say to my friend, that's one of the problems I have. Because I frankly don't think that they spent the time on this that we have. What could provoke Reid to break so quickly and so visibly from Pelosi? Earmark reform advocates say they think they know. When it comes to protecting pet projects and when it comes to protecting uh, their power, these guys can be enormously arrogant and, and petulant. Reid used a parliamentary maneuver to thwart DeMint. After days of trying to lobby Democrats to abandon DeMint, Reid finally gave in. And late yesterday, the Senate unanimously adopted DeMint's earmark language. Voters are still mad, and I think some of the members are still shook up. Uh, some of them still need to be shaken a little more. And I think they were shaken last week. Uh, I think Harry Reid was shaken. Shaken and stirred to give in. In Washington, Major Garrett, Fox News. It was slow going.